Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and a lot of the excitement at Harbor Freight lately is the uh, Gen 2 ratchets, but they've got a few other new tools, and this is one of them. This is the Professional Digital Display Circuit Tester, and what it is is, well, it's the classic circuit tester style uh, tool, but with a digital display. And this is rated from 3 to 49 volts, so you can use it for a lot of different things, uh, you know, troubleshooting, um, if you're uh, uh, testing batteries, if you're checking cables, um, lots of different different odds and ends, because it's basically like the updated old, you know, 6 or 12 volt test light. Now it has a 12 foot cable here. Pull this out of this blow molded case here. It's got a 12 foot cable. Um, I think it's about mm, eight feet of usable before this thing turns into a slingshot or a bowstring. So be a little careful, especially because they really cheapened out on this, this clip. In fact, I'm gonna pull this off and put a much better one on. It'll be an easy thing to do. A nice copper one maybe, something with a little bit of grip because this just slides right off of stuff. Add a little bit of this coil and suddenly <laughs> watch out. But anyway, what do we have here? Well, you've got a digital display, not a single button or switch on the whole thing, and a set of probes. Now you can get things like this maybe with uh, one basic probe. Um, there are a handful of them on Amazon. They start at about $30. I think Lyle's got one. It might be around 40 bucks. And then they go up. This set here with these probes sells uh, maximum Harbor Freight price at about $80, 79 and change. Now, Snap-on also makes a set um, with two probes um, and actually three probes and an adapter. And that set sells for about $100 more than this, pushing 180 bucks, which is outrageous. And I have talked to my Snap-on uh, rep about those, and he said he doesn't even carry them. Nobody's really that interested in it because it, you know, you can use a multimeter for a lot of this stuff, or um, there are other, like a power probe or something else if you're gonna start throwing bucks at old school technology. Um, but Icon just made one, it's right here. It is really handy. It does a lot of things very well, very fast very efficiently but that lot of things is kind of a few things and those few things are things you can actually do lots of different ways but it is um, a tool for efficiency simplicity confined spaces things like that maybe potentially safety as well in that it takes uh, under 10 milliamps to run this thing which means it's considered computer safe like car computers etc um, it's not going to do anything funny with the electronics, but they do warn you stay away from airbags. Um, anyway, the different probes, well, it has this, this shorter one. This is 2.7 inch, kind of a piercing probe. It's not the piercing probe. There is one of those, but it, you can pierce a wire with it. Very sharp. Um, it has a longer one. Uh, here that's about six inches, same thing, comes with plastic covers. Uh, it's got um, a, basically an adapter, a universal adapter for different things that might not be here. You've got an alligator clip. This is the piercing probe, you can plug it in. When you turn this, uh, you can see that a, a little sharp right about there, you'll see it pop up, there's a little piercer. Um, one of the maddening things I found out about this case, I think the case is a great idea and it is well thought out. Uh, in fact, you can pull these hinges off. They've got these big rubberized handles. If you pop these off, you can put it in your toolbox um, without the lid. But the lid is so thin, I don't know why you do that, which leads to the maddening thing. And that is you can't, uh, with probably this probe here, which is I assume the default most used one, this or the longer one, you can't actually put the probe back in its case um, with this on without it hitting up against the end there and you certainly can't do it easily with this on and I would recommend closing it up keeping taking better care of it but oh well they could have just moved this or something and and had you at least be able to keep this probe on I guess you could probably keep this on but that's not the point. Anyway, let's take a look at the operation. Um, oddly, using a 9-volt battery seems to be kind of the universal way of showing these things. So much so that if you go to Snap-on's website and look up this same kind of tool, you can also see, if you go to the Harbor Freight link, which I've got below, um, and they compare it to the Snap-on, that's where you'll get the number. You can Google that. Um, but Snap-on shows this. There's basically doing this exact same thing as you can see here. Um, hopefully, 
I've got about 8.1, 8.3 volts. Uh, Snap-ons says 24 volts. In fact, they've got a dummy one that has the 24 lit up and that's, um, it doesn't matter what they hook it to, it always says 24. It says 24 when it's not hooked up to anything, like in the main picture, just something kind of interesting snap-on when you farm this stuff out to a marketing company, uh, people in the know <laughs> spot things. But anyway, what do we have? Uh, we have got the ability to test between 3 and 49 volts. Some of these only go to 48 volts, so there's that. Um, I thought I'd do a little quick test here. I've got two um, 1.5 volt C batteries. So if I connect this uh, to one battery, what do I get? I get nothing. That's not surprising because that's only 1.5 volts. If I connect it to two batteries, what do I get? Got to connect it up here. I've got 3.0, 3.1 volts. Might be able to see that. So it is working at that lower level. If I do some of these upper level or upper power lithium batteries, this should be about four volts. This is a um, one of my Wubins. Yeah, it's four volts on the nose. Here's another. Uh, it would be nice. This is something else I thought of. Uh, let me do this and then I'll. I'll get to that, I'm losing my train of thought here. But anyway, there it is. You can see another four. What I was gonna say is I, I wish there was a way I could easily attach a probe to the clip side. So especially if I wanted to do this, which I do want to do this quite often, is have two of these probes. So let's say I wanted to try to dig into this Milwaukee battery, which is um, not working very well, and I wanted to test things out, I would probably need to try and figure out uh, if this is this is uh, working. And the problem with uh, doing this um, is I need two probes, and I'm not getting anything. That's kind of what I mean. I don't know, is it my connection here? Or is it the, you know, what's up? I should be able to get a reading. I can use my nine volt to kind of troubleshoot it. Okay, I am getting a reading here. So what's going on? Why am I not getting anything? That's that's kind of what I'm getting at. I can do it also. Here's a camera battery. Sometimes these things get old or you're kind of wondering what's going on. And that again is where I'd love to have this nice two, um, which one is this? I may have, this might be the dead battery. Yeah, something's not going going right with this battery. So, um, anyway, there it is, the Icon Professional Digital Display Circuit Tester. The part number on this is the 70624, also known as the TPSK. Simple little tool. Uh, if you need something like this, it seems to work, seems to be accurate. Um, but if you've got a multimeter, you know, kind of does the same thing. This is basically like, a wire in a circuit and that's what that's all this is whereas a multimeter generally it hangs out first of all in the middle of the the set of wires um, whereas this is kind of the business end so if you can hook this up to something a battery a piece of the car whatever it is um, and then be able to touch w very accurately exactly where you want this thing um, then that's where this shines compared to a multimeter. But of course a multimeter does an awful lot more things. This is strictly voltage. Well, one other thing I mentioned, it does have polarity. So if I reverse the polarity, uh, there's a green light that lights up down here. Red if it's correct, green if it's not. And you'll also notice there's, there's basically a plus and a minus right there. So right here we've got plus, or we've got minus eight. If I reverse these, Oh, let me show you the green. Down here, you know, by my thumb is there's the little green light. And then if I reverse it correctly, now you've got plus, and then that green light's gone and there's a little red light down in there. So that's what it is. If you're interested in something like this, well, now Icon sells one. One year warranty is all. So, you know, don't get your hopes up of having a lifetime product here. Um, I'm also, uh, I may try to see if I can interchange some parts with one of the snap-on ones. I have a lead on a on an old school or an older broken one and I may may try to play around with that. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on that or if you've got another use where this, this kind of a tool is essential, uh, that'd be good to know and share with us. So with that, Doc out.